When I read this chapter, this Genesis 16, and I see Hagar in there, and she comes to a place of knowing God as the God who sees me. He saw me. And he says, go back. I see Hagar as one who's, who's coming before God and knowing that discipline is, is at hand, but knowing that the best thing that could possibly happen to her is the discipline. And to obey the Lord's voice and to go back. It's such a beautiful thing. If my name was Hagar, if Sarah had been, and I'm sure that she was getting smacked around or at least um, spoken too badly, I would have been so tempted to just keep running. Keep running. Yeah, um, the God who sees saw, and he can still see this too. And, um, <laughs> and I think that's our attitude so many times. But do you know that the Lord rarely calls us to run away? He calls us to go too. It is good to be in the Lord's will. It is good to follow where he leads. It is good to walk conscious of the fact that God both sees and hears. So as we're going through this week, and, and um, as you're going through this week, I want you to remember that Hagar knew God as the God who sees. That, that her son means God hears. Do you know God listens to the cry of your heart? Do you know he sees you all the time? It's amazing. God is not too busy or preoccupied for you. God is not um, so aloof that he can't pay attention to you. He knows when there is an Egyptian maidservant lost in the desert, beside a spring, whatever spring it was, who is in a desperate situation. And he knows what's best for her. It's good to serve a living God. It is such a beautiful thing.